Hello, good morning everyone, Mr. Ong here. Today we are going to look at logarithm. This is taught in New Zealand for NCA level 2 and we shall look at some example and also go through some of the NCA questions in both 2018 and 2019. So the rule about uh, uh, logarithm is that if you are given a log question, P equal to log BQ, you are able to change it into a index form or a power form and they are interchangeable so the rule to know how to change in interchangeable these are the two rules so put the single number on the left so you can see q and p are single number so they are always put on the left then the first number of the index forms or the first number of the log form they become the last number so for example q if you change into the log form, Q ends up at the last number at the end. And the last number becomes the first number. So P to the power of P will become the P in front. So this is how you remember and you need to remember this formula to solve this equation. Okay, we shall look at some of the example and we will work through logarithm. Okay, the first example, we are going to solve log 3 x is equal to 2. The first thing you need to do, you need to put the single number in front. So we're going to change 2 equals to log to the base 3 x. Okay, now remember, the last number becomes your first number. So this is the last number. So x, you want to change to index form, equals to the last number becomes the power number. So it becomes 3 squared and the answer is 9. Okay, so we shall do another question. So now, again, the last number is in front. So we're going to change the single number on the left. So we're going to be log to the base P64. The single number always have to be in front. And then, now we're going to swap them around. So the last number becomes your first number, 64. And then equal to P to the power of 6. Okay, so if you know... 64 is actually 2 to the power of 6, that's equal to P6, so we can conclude that P equals to 2. Now we will look at some of the questions in the NCA exam. We shall start with last 2019 NCA exam. Okay, so we shall find M if log base 5 m minus 3 equal to 0 the first thing you do you're going to rearrange this formula so plus 3 on both sides so log 5 m that is equal to 3 what you did is actually you plus 3 on the left and plus 3 on the right and we put the 3 in front now okay so now we have the single number in front then what we're going to do is that we are going to make it into a power form so last number which is m becomes in front so m equals to 5 last number first number becomes the last number and the answer is 125 and that will be an achieve in nca level 2. next question in the nca question looks like that find x if log x243, this is a 2018 exam. So first thing again, the single number must be in front. So we're going to change 5 equals to log x243. Then what's the next step? The last number becomes your first number. So 243 comes in front. And x to the power of 5. So to make it the same, so 243 is 3 to the power of 5 equal to x5, then you can conclude that x equals to 3. That is again another achieve in the NCA level 2 exam. We will proceed now. We will look at another question from the 2018 exam. So it will look like that. Okay. So... Every year, there'll be a question on log, so make sure you learn that. So what do you do? Can you remember what you do? You put a single number in the left. So 2 equals to log to the base 3, 4m minus 1. And then this last number becomes your first number. So 4m minus 1 is going to be equal to 3. 
this becomes your power squared solving algebraically so 4m minus 1 equals to 9 4m equals to 10 because you plot one on both sides m equals to 10 over 4 and the answer is 5 over 2 and again that is a simple achieve and it won't take you more than two minutes to do this question okay before we proceed the second type of question is based on the properties of logarithm so you need to know this so if you have log a plus log b you multiply log bracket a times b if you have a minus you divide a divided by b if log a to the power of n that n can come down become n log a so remember these three properties and you'll be able to do the rest of the exam okay we shall look at the 2019 exam another achieve question so they want you to write as a single log logarithm it means log to a particular number that is what they mean okay to do that we are going to simplify so the first thing rule number three these two can go up become a power so it's going to be log six minus log y squared and because that is a minus it becomes log six log bracket six divided by y squared and that is a simple achieve Okay, we will continue now. Now we are going to do the two merit question. I have simplified that question. I do not, it's a word problem. So technically, what they are asking is that, how do you solve T when 3 equal to number, NO equal to NO bracket 1.053 bracket T. Your objective is to find T. Okay, the first thing you do, you divide by NO on both sides. So what happened? The NO will be cancelled out. So on the left hand side, you're left with 3 equals to 1.053 T. The next step you do, you are going to lock both sides. Lock to the base 10, both sides. So when you lock both sides, it becomes lock 3 equals to lock 1.053 T. And then based on properties number 3, the T can come down. So log 3, or we can rearrange the formula T, log 1.053 is equal to log 3. And the last step, you're going to divide both number by log 1.053, log 1.053, that log will cancel out because they are the same number put in your calculator and the answer is going to be 21.27 weeks have a look at the question and try to solve it okay and the last question is very similar suppose you have 25,000 equals to 20,000 bracket 1.0385 to the power n the first thing you do you divide by 20,000 on both sides so when you do that, that becomes 1.25 equals to, that becomes 1, 1.0385 to the power of n. The next thing you do, you're going to lock both sides. So what you do, you bring down the lock, so we're going to be lock 1.25 equals to lock 1.0385 to the power n the next thing you do you bring down the power of n downwards so this n comes down and then it's going to be n log 1.0385 i've rearranged the formula log 1.25 and the last step i'm going to divide both by log 1.0385 and log 1.0385 what happened here is that this number will cancel out so you are looking for n so n will be equal to 
that number and put in a calculator and the answer is 5.91 years if you want to simplify them that's approximately six years so hopefully you have learned something about logarithm and keep practicing and if you look at the question year after year the questions are always the same it just the different numbers keep practicing and you pass algebra level two with ease thank you for watching and have a good day